So I'm reading again. No, you're not. Um, I am. Bullshit. Um, well, you know how... Bullshit. You're really good. Hang on. Hollywood likes to redo classics right now as far as movies go. I, I, don't, I can't remember which camera to look at. Anyway, um, they redid a classic tale about fishing, which I'm very into. So I'm reading a story about a bisexual whale. It's called Navy Dick. <laughs> okay, good job. Nice. Uh, <laughs> Why do we keep letting him do jokes? I don't know. That, should, that shouldn't have got mean? me that. What that do you mean? Re- that's good. That's good. That's good. Uh, that that shouldn't have got me that good, if I'm being honest. Especially from a fucking Packers fan just over there. Like we're talking about stuff. We're just talking. I'm just glad Sody came over to the winning side. Yeah, Sody couldn't be here, so that makes him a Packers fan. Oh, dude, Clay Matthews. Do you know you can't? Talk it's a to- Super Bowl kit, Clay Matthews jersey too. Talked about it earlier, but for fans listening, Clay Matthews was part of the greatest linebacker trio in college football for the University of Southern California Trojans. Yep. Somebody to change my mind, but the other two were Ray Mauluga and Brian Cushing. All three, I think, were top three round draft picks and starters as rookies. All-stars, pro bowlers. Oh my God. Ray Mauluga fell off first, unfortunately. Yeah, I think he was, he, he was like second or third rounder, if I remember right. Brian Cushing, we all know what he did. He headbutted a dude with no helmet. Yep, he's got those cool pictures online. Bloody nose. Yeah. Didn't do much. Nope. Oh, who? Sody, cut out. Who? Yeah. Yep, you're fading in and out. Figure it out. What do you mean? This was so much better last time you weren't here. Yeah. Listen. Here we go. So, do I need to practice? It might just be me stuttering, too. I mean, any interference you hear might be a speech impediment. No, you're too good for that. I already feel that role. Don't. You don't have a speech impediment, Doc. You just pronounce shit weird. Hey, this is the second (laughs) office. I'm I'm totally your host, Alec George. With me is Doc and and Dog, the Packers fan. Sody? Yeah, you can't see me right now, but they will will eventually. How's the comfort of your basement, you you piece of... Right? And they mean a lot to me. Your dogs mean a lot to you? Yeah, dude. You're my dogs. You all mean a lot to me. I get it. I get it. Ow. All right. Ooh, yep. Let's see. Yep. Good call. Ow. Nice. Ow. Wait, one more time. I had it turned down. Ow. There it is. I want to wear this hat forward, but I got really sweaty this weekend fishing, so it might have some sweat stains. Are you backwards hatting? No. <laughs> Not if Jace is watching. That's too dang bad. That's too dang bad. But hey, here's some things that happened last week that we're just going to touch on uh, before we get rolling here that we won't talk a whole bunch about. We're going to talk a little bit about. Well, Sody, how was your week? Sody, how was your week? Anything crazy? Dude, I have bruises on my rib cage from setting the hook on so many fish. You also that was just the, um, that was the weekend. You also showed some uh, some bravery, I would say, and you uh, you attempted a little stand up comedy, didn't you, Sody? <laughs> yeah, okay. Why did you get all quiet? Right. Well, let, so, oh. let me tell a story quick. Okay. When you hear open mic night, what are you expecting to show up and see? Karaoke. That's not what I wanted to hear. <laughs> open mic means a, a, a set, something. Like, oh. So, do you, you got to figure out your headphones, dude. Nope, now you're just totally gone. We just lost him. Completely? Oh, there you are. He's back. What? I'm so sorry. It's kind of like you were on stage of the comedy show. You just went with dead. Yeah. Is that what happened? You just froze up? I will say it was a lot more nerve-wracking. For being at an American Legion for my first set, I thought this would be easy. <laughs> yeah, man, your jokes would hit there. I would have thought I would have thought the same. I would have thought you would have killed. Well, the problem is, is my first joke was about edging. So I got up there and the guy's <laughs> like, all right, here we go. And I see this family of four that I didn't see. And the four kids that are still eating their cheeseburgers. I'm like, you know what? I'm going to wait. I'm going to I'm gonna hold off a couple hours. That's your uh, for, uh, first mistake. Sody, first mistake. <laughs> Fuck them kids. You said you were at a Legion or at the VFW? Either way, it doesn't matter. Yeah, they, they, they brought those kids there. They should know better. What's the difference? Though? They should know better. I don't think there is a difference. No, 100%. What's the difference? Georgie. Veterans of foreign wars versus the Legion. Yeah. You know, beats me. There's probably a mass population that doesn't know what VFW stands for. Doc. So, do, so do the story. Oh yeah. So 
we saw open mic on uh, the American Legion near home. And so I'm like, you know what? Let's do it. This is one of my goals. I want I, I wanted to go to Acme and do an open mic. And I'm like, this is a great warm up. And and it's people singing freaking picture and photograph by uh, Kid Rock. Fuck yeah. That's sure. not who sings that, but totally. <laughs> picture? Picture is Kid Rock, right? Oh, you mean photograph? Oh, okay. Guys. Yeah. No, that's uh. Anyway. Yeah. And so, uh, yeah, I asked him, I'm like, Cheryl Crow. Karaoke right? or an open yeah. mic night? Mm-hmm. It's open mic. I'm like, perfect. I got about four minutes of joke. <laughs> Like, I had just asked him to find me a human arm in the next 20 minutes. Like, I need an arm. I'm sure he's had he's nobody like, ever do that. I'm like, open mic, I assume you, you you want people to come up here and tell jokes. And he goes, yes, yeah, oh, yeah, yeah, 100%. <laughs> Honey. He's, he's like, you, though? You. <laughs> 100%. But he's like, yeah, pl- sure. He said sure, but I hate sure, so I don't use that. No, you don't. And, uh... Yeah, bombed. <laughs> do we get some of the jokes? Come on. God, I, I do actually have them still. Did you get so no I, laughs? Sody, did you get no laughs at all? So I'll tell you this. There was one person in the crowd, and she laughed her freaking ass off. Is it the girl you share a bed with sometimes? What? <laughs> okay. Checking. No. All right. Well, Your imaginary friend? Just, yeah, ran, just, a, just a random, just a random gal. Okay. Um, <laughs> notes. <laughs> well, the yeah. problem is, is I'm FaceTiming y'all, so every time I try to hit something, it's like, no, you probably want to click on your face, don't you? What? Uh, I mean, they're not wrong. Okay, so, so, do you part. think like the VFW, like they just turn away people who fought in the Civil War? Like, I don't think any of those people are around. They can probably change their name. Oh my God, Doc! What a great point, dude. If you show up at a Veterans of Foreign Wars, you fought it in freaking South Carolina? Yeah. I'm drinking. Hmm? <laughs> it was a double drink. <laughs> what, what about South Carolina? <laughs> anyway, so. <laughs> Son of a gun. Hey, you, you, can't, you can't drink all day if you don't start in the morning, baby. Oh, show them the shirt. Secondoffice.org. Buy our shirts. I can't see Doc. Doc, you guys don't give me any. I give you all of this. You guys don't give me any. <laughs> you don't need to see it because he just said it. So. Okay. Yeah. Totally. Yep. But so. Do we? I just want one joke. I want one joke from the set, Sody. This is why well, I did so I bad. What I opened with was. Yeah. You distracted. Very happy to be dating. Okay. Uh, I'm out dating again. That's fun. Okay. Luckily, I wasn't dating long before I found somebody I liked. Um, no. she's honest. I'd say that's one of her best qualities. But uh, first, she asked me about back door stuff, and I said I was down. And then she, every time, made me enter her house through the back. I could never come through the front door because there's a ring, apparently. So I don't know what that's about. Um, uh, uh, sure. Oh, that's so bad. <laughs> that's Those old good. people have no fucking yeah. clue what that means. <laughs> yeah, They're like, what? Back I, literally, door. my notes just say edging joke about being a Vikings fan. <laughs> That's, a, that's all the notes you need. Edging, I'm like, oh my god, I love that. Have you ever cheered for the Vikings? It's like expecting the greatest thing to happen all season, and at the very end, you just say, oh nope, we're not gonna do it. Not gonna do it. Okay. The joke is there. The delivery could use Next work. Next note was joke about Vikings organization being asleep at the wheel. Low hanging fruit was the. Jordan has myself that. <laughs> um, wolves are doing really good again. For anyone that deer hunts north of Mille Lacs, you've known that for a long time. <laughs> okay. And it says in parentheses, there's way too many fucking wolves up north. Um, fishing is cool with my generation again, which is a lot of fun. Unfortunately, it makes me things, think things aren't great at home. Because as a single guy, I'm married guy, not married yet, whatever, probably never gonna get married because i haven't found one that sticks with me for one three years without getting annoyed but is this part of the joke what is going on right now did you say that as no, part yeah, of the joke this, this is my script i can show you this. okay good sorry keep going are you guys doing the music in the background we're not no, no i've been giving you <laughs> you're the... gonna be so anxious for that all show yep. mm-hmm. i gave <laughs> you the i gave it's you like, the bit i want to go swimming in coco beach florida but i know that you guys have a shark you can just click and it's gonna bite my foot off <laughs> <laughs> We're not and that. Went into, uh... Uh, 
Yep, you're, fish, right. you're fishing. Fish. Okay. So people that want to fish, weird, but uh, hang on. Bass fishing and fishing in general is for anyone too afraid to try golf. I know this for a fact because I've I fished twice or ten times as much as I golf, and it's because honestly I wish I was ten times better at golf than I am at fishing. But both of these sports are just a combination of a million small decisions that lead you to one moment. Fishermen were smarter to name their sport fishing. Golfers should have named their sport just whacking or missing. <laughs> harder to get into golf than fishing because there's a higher standard. And the dress code's way different. Oh, just, God, just call it swinging? Yeah, so... Yeah, <clears throat> yeah, so we could have worked on this together, buddy. Yeah, so... Real so really zero laughs outside of outside of the random gal. No, those are pity laughs. No, the first couple. <laughs> yeah. I said the guy knew that I was there to tell a joke, so he went ho ho ho. <laughs> <laughs> he was trying to get the crowd going. Then, <laughs> once he started listening, he's like, Yeah, he's your hype man. He's your hype man. Dude, he's dude, trying to get the crowd that, going. That lady just saw somebody up there just. Beads of sweat pouring down his forehead. And and said, she's I like, I gotta, I gotta be the guy. I That's funny to me. <laughs> sweaty. I'm, I went up there and sang a couple Cody Jinx songs for the open mic night as I waited for the kids to leave. And no problem with the temperature. By the time I went up there and said, <laughs> it's time for jokes, holy cow, <laughs> yeah. was I sweaty. Yeah, yeah I bet. You've always been a sweaty guy. Got so hot. 11. Hey, I want to. I want you to know, though, Sodi, um, you got more good news this week. Uh, I got invited to a new dynasty football league, and uh, from a from a friend from St. Louis who I haven't talked to in a few years. Shout out Ryan for reaching out and getting me into this league. Um, Wait, they do we all... have a sound effect that goes. That's so funny that because <laughs> we shout somebody out because that totally played in that sound totally played in my head. We don't have that. I'm sorry. Um, you, you guys, you were there too mentally, right? 100. percent you guys would love Ryan. Ryan's a, Ryan. Ryan's a character. Damn, get him, get him Ryan, up here. Where'd you find us? Um, but he, you know, took it upon himself to plug our podcast in the chat box. Yeah. For the whole league. Woo. Um, so, so, Sody, you got some shout outs for the uh, big fish you caught. Yeah. What do you mean? Seriously? Seriously. Biggest fish of your life. Tell me. Tell me about the shout out. Oh, yeah. He's got. Oh you're going to get gotta, him going. I got to stroke this ego now. You're you're can't just, you can't just take that. It's so, huge. Sody, if the camera Dude, ain't ain't waist itself, up, Doc, fix come it. Come on, I need your help. If if I don't think we would get canceled for sharing this leak chat that we got going on, yeah. um, I would share it. I got to do this leak chat is Dude, let's deep. Get canceled. You can't get canceled. You can shoot at somebody doing a presidential freaking rally and not get canceled. You get shot in the face. It just was. It just a shout out Sody for the big fish. I mean, that's that's what it was. The guy was being nice. He watched the video. He saw your big fish. I'm hoping that somebody is a good enough fisherman to be like, wow, I can't believe he didn't measure it. But judging by Sody's wrist, forearm size, uh, neck width, not using a CPAP machine, and his beard length, I can estimate that that's a blank, blank pike. Because I want to know how big it was. I'm so pissed I put that little bastard back so fast. Yeah. Ugh. Well, just get the screenshots, and I'm sure you can deduce. Man, but this Dynasty League, it's eight hours per pick, which is a little insane. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wow. wait a minute, wait a minute. Deduce, Georgie. Huh. What is the coolest term for pooping you've ever heard? Ooh, best term for pooping. This is a good one. Because some dude said, I gotta go drop some bum slugs off at the Rectum Ranch, and I knelt. And if I had a sword, I would hold it and say, oh, Captain, my Captain. I don't like that yeah, one. That's ah, I don't good. like that one. That's a little graphic. Bum slugs at the Rectum Ranch? Yeah. It's funny. I get it. It's just, hmm. I've always liked, uh... What about Cleveland? I dare you. No, not that one. I don't know, man. I feel like I've, the last couple of years of my life, just the, the all-time classic, I'm, I'm, I'm going to take a shit. You can't go wrong. I, in the words of Christopher Big Black Boykin, I use these <laughs> a lot, gotta, gotta take a dump, son. Dump, dump for sure. Take a dump. Yep, my my yeah, dad, my dad raised me on taking dumps. That's for sure. Who taught you how to talk about poop? Insert that clip of Tom Brady. My dad. My dad. <laughs> 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 yes, very, uh, <laughs> very tearful. Very true. Uh, Doc, anything crazy from Fear Week? What happened? 
I mean, dude, this Dynasty League is the craziest thing. I mean, it's these picks are so long that there's so much you can do, and people are trading picks. Why is that it's good insane, news for man. Why is that good news for Sody? Because he because he got some he got some likes. For oh, because he got some shoutouts. That's yeah. right. Okay, yeah, good it's deal. good news Am for I us because we got some we're new not listeners. In, we're not in the you league. Guys you guys are not in the league. No, we're not in the league. All right, we're not in the league. You guys aren't in the league. You're not that good. You're not that good. You you know what I did last year? I know. One in two out of my three leagues. Brought, like brought brought home about fifteen hundred winnings. The two you won were redraft leagues, right? Yeah, it's dynasty, brother. It's a whole different ball game. Yeah, I'm, this team building. I'm good at dynasty. This is like too. college. I'm good at football. dynasty too. This is my bread and butter. Started my dynasty. How, how's yours going, dude? By the so, way, oh nope, sure. Can we use this platform to talk about anyone who still does a snake draft with their high school buddies as a pussy. I mean, we can. Uh, we do that. <laughs> Am hey. I in favor of it? Have I tried to change the culture of this league since I've seen the light, dude? We have. We have. We both have. Am I? Moses went up to the fucking mountain and talked to that burning bush and came down with 15 or 10 commandments, depending on how many tablets he could carry. He didn't hold that information in for himself. He shared it with his friends, and they loved it. God, for real, though, anyone from this league listening, if we got to go to an auction you or a dynasty or something. Something. China Fitness. China Fitness Football League. Um, cool. Eight hours per pick. That sucks. Well, I mean, it, once you pick, though, it starts the next person's timer. So it's it For can sure. go fast. If people are paying attention. We had a draft. Gotcha. We had a draft over text messages that I think extended eight hours per pick. One, one of the most fun drafts uh, I've ever had. I think it took uh, over three days. Dude, people got injured between them being drafted and the draft ending. Yes. That was chaotic. That was not fun. That I was thought, a nightmare. I remember being at work when I was the warehouse manager at Pottery Barn Kids and just being so back in that warehouse, just, just waiting. That was the most fun thing happening that day. Yeah, just waiting for just waiting for my turn to come up. And you had so much I time. You had so much time to do bucks. research and all that. I don't know. I got a kick out of it. I thought it was cool. Hey, so am I invited to uh, the Big Money League? Um, I'm supposed to have a phone call with Cal. Cal, where's my phone call? Um, he said we need to discuss draft dates and you. N-M-L you're you're on you're on the agenda. Do I gotta go through a vetting process? You're on the agenda. You need to run a background Actually, check. You're on the agenda to be talked about. It's a big deal. <laughs> yes. Very big deal. Can I see the minutes, please, from this meeting? <laughs> <laughs> yes. How I'll give you. This? I'll give you the notes. A great way to get into Put the in a good word. Faster, Doc. Who's your uh, top three sleepers for this season? <laughs> no, I'm not telling you insider kids. knowledge. Fuck off. No way. I'll post that shit on premium after all the drafts. <laughs> Damn right. Wait, are we gonna do a draft channel? Part of it for their for their sake, okay. Like safety. Yeah, so that that's one of the things that I want to start doing. There's two two big things I want to start doing with our premium content. So listeners, you can get that at Patreon.com/slash the second office. Um, I oh. want to start doing written fantasy content. I'm out. I can't write. Well, that's fine. You can tell me, and I can. He'll write it. We can transcribe it to figure it out. Yeah, right on, man. You you say it, we write it. <laughs> Love and that. then uh. Georgie knows about this. I want to start writing a script. Yeah. So we're going to write a script and we're going to we're going to read it. Like letter Kenny? Yeah, yeah. Something like that. Sure is he? Uh-huh. I How to know. make it in America? Entourage? That's a quality program. Here you go. I think it's I think Here you the, go. I think one of the biggest things I want to do is about this guy who chased his dreams and then ended back up in the great north and he was like a little baby raccoon. <laughs> Drinks. He just kept coming in and out, in and out, in and out. And you know, what? we'll see where the story goes I'm from there. I guess. Tell you right now, this is a this is a sad story that people don't, don't want to hear. I can promise. But man, but man, is it uh, entertaining? But they they shit themselves when you get back home. I promise you. To impartial third parties, man, is it entertaining though? Man, I think uh, I think Chris Pratt would be perfect for the role. How about that, Sody? Don't, Agree. Agree. don't do that to me, Doc. You know, <laughs> did you did you talk to him? Is he interested in this? Have he you is. showed him some stuff? Yeah, we've talked a little bit about pitched. Are we around. doing table reads? Come on. Man. Yeah, yeah, right around the corner. All right, I'm back in, man. All right, great. Anyone in my past, you're in big trouble. You're part of it. <laughs> Hell yeah. <laughs> All right, well, uh, great. Yeah, you guys had great weeks, huh? Awesome. Couple things that we're uh, gonna mention, but not super duper talk about. We got uh, we lost the presidential candidate, Sody. How you feeling? They just clipped his ear. We're good. 
No, I said we got a new, <laughs> like, we, we lost one. Oh, so remember when I talked about this, like, months ago, when I'm like, eventually they will say that Biden's unfit for office and Kamala will be the... Remember that? Oh, yeah. Weird. You sure did. Didn't so- see it coming. Actually, part of my notes says, out of the blue, Biden admits he might not be fit for office. I wrote this in May. Was that the uh, first presidential debate when then everyone was saying it? Sony? Sony? Fired up? Huh? <laughs> can, you, can you guys hear me still? Now we can. Okay, perfect. So I, I was going to say, are you trying to get me fired up? Because that's how you get me fired well, up. Just, well, just a little bit. I just wanted a little teaser for what I'm sure you're going to touch on um, on tonight's unabashed belligerent. I said this a month ago. If that was my grandpa, I'd say, please, let the man relax. He doesn't want to be president anymore. Don't make him be president. So as a unabashed and sometimes belligerent follower of uh, Mr. Trump, how, how you feel at, um, with, with his... Uh, this new competition likely to be Miss Harris. You know my opinion. Anybody that wants to be president shouldn't be. Agreed. As soon as you want that power, you should be banned from every. We should elect people that don't want to, but we elect them because they're just good freaking people. Here you go. All right, cool. In the Wild West, the sheriff was picked because they were like, Bill, I've never seen you drink too much. You've never hit a guy that didn't deserve it. And your wife is the happiest lady in town. You should be sheriff. And Bill went, Hell no. Yep. I don't want that. That's nonsense. Hobbit, Battle of Five yeah. Armies after uh after yeah. a- after the guy say oh, saved the town from the dragon. They all chose him to be king and he said no. He should be king. Well, I mean, a lo- there's going to be a lot of legal challenges about this too because states held primaries. They they selected Biden to be the nominee. And now that he's dropping out, they can't just hand it yeah to her. Right. So real, real quick, you guys want a crazy take? What I think might happen with the uh, Democratic Party? That's all I ever want from you. They're going to go all eggs in one basket. The only party that can't define what a woman is is going to get two of them. Michelle Obama's going to come out of retirement. She hasn't said anything dumb in a long time. She's out of the picture and doing only good things for youth and youth athletics and sports. Honestly, some things I support. But they're going to bring her in, and you're going to have Harris. Kamala's going to stay at VP where she needs to be. And <laughs> I'm well, glad it cut oh, out. Oh, oh, she's, yeah, no, that I'm worked out. That worked out, out just fine. <laughs> so she, Michelle would not be VP. Michelle would be the actual president. Mm-hmm. Go home. All right. Yep. I'm telling you right now. George, if, if ever, Google, if ever there was a Google, time for your, Google someone something. needs to take this dog outside. All right, outside. I'm going to Google it. Take this dog outside. What's going on? What am I Googling? Who's the next president? I guarantee you, Michelle's above Kamala. She ain't even on the ticket yet. Watch this. Boom. Next. Be like, damn it. President. Sody's a fucking political savant. Here we go. Let's uh, take a little look here. Presidential odds from Odds Checker. U.S. politics betting odds. Donald Trump minus 154. Michelle Obama plus 6,400. Oh, wait. Is that second place? Nope. Wait a minute, wait a nope. Wait a nope. Can you tell me Vegas? No, Sodi, it's not. You're wrong. Hey, you're wrong. Kamala Harris is second with plus four hundred. Michelle Obama's third. Who was first? D Trump. Minus one fifty four. Hmm. D Trump. So they still have him as the favorite. The third, the third hang on, the third highest likely person on the on that is not even technically running for president, right? Correct. That's what you want. That's freaking weird. But that's what you want. No, I'm saying if, if I was running the DNC, that's my gal. Oh, no, damn. but it it circles back to the person who to her. no, it, it it goes back to what you were just saying. The person who doesn't want to be president, she's not out there campaigning for out it. Out of the limelight, yep, not being a part of anything, an innocent bystander. And I promise you, there's a ton of voters that will go away from somebody who's loudmouth like Trump to go with someone who's quiet like her. I could see it. What do you mean? Good. Guess we will see. You know, I tried to run for mayor. You got to do a lot to be mayor. One of them's like (laughs) not be a felon, be a criminal. Yeah, (laughs) yeah, (laughs) jeez. Ah, we tried. Come on, man. We tried. Come on. I'm not a felon, by the way. Good. By the way, just to make that clear for everybody. 
I was gross and committed a misdemeanor. That was about it. Oh, good. Uh, okay. Hey, uh, opening <laughs> opening ceremonies uh, Friday. Le- LeBron's carrying the U.S. flag. Trash. Why? That's trash, dude. What's trash? Him carrying the flag. Why? He does not deserve to carry the flag. Why? Are you kidding me? All these Olympic the athletes. All these Olympic. That too. What did he say? That's right. That's a good dog. That's a good dog. What, what, do you, what did he say? He said he doesn't stand for the LeBron national anthem. James national anthem. Oh, ever? That's why he shouldn't carry the flag. Oh, I'm okay. I'm another button. Done. Well, then, yeah, shit. But what? also, you have all these Olympic athletes that train their entire lives for this. And, oh, this guy can shoot a basketball. He's done really well in the NBA. Dude, the NBA Olympics is a joke. Well, also, if they went with a basketball player, it should, it should have been Kevin Durant. He's the all-time leading um, men's Olympic scorer. Dude, this, it's just a, oh, it's a trash reading Anthony decision. Anthony Edwards' diary. Oh, my God. He's the all-time best-scoring Olympian for Team USA. At least he's not carrying it alone. It's going to be when the first time two people carry the flag. Oh, who's he carrying with? Coco. I'm going to tell you I don't want to mispronounce her last name. Okay. She's a tennis player. Goff. Coco yeah. Goff. Cool. Oh, that's awesome. Dude, it's all political image. Well, duh. It's so stupid. Hell yeah. You want to know who should be carrying that flag? Who? Simone Biles, Katie Ledecky, these decorated Olympic athletes. Yeah. Paul Skeens. I think Paul Skeens should carry it. Absolutely. Get that mustache out there. Man, he's He's got enough going Dude, for him. Dude, you guys understand the tear that Paul Skeens is on? I I mean, Livy Dunn by herself. Hang, it's hang on. Kind of. Hey, yeah. Okay, <laughs> right. so real quick. In my notes, I have right here. <laughs> my it notes. It just says Paul Skeens is on a legendary course of 382 days. He won the College World Series. He was the College World Series MVP. He was drafted first overall by the Pittsburgh Pirates. Relationship with Livy Dunn goes public. Doc. Um, to the MLB in just 10 months. Bitch and mustache. Bitch and, that that. bitch and mustache. <laughs> Lead league in ERA or did at the time I wrote this. All-Star game after 11 starts, and now he's the All-Star game starting pitcher. The last time I saw a headline with Paul Skeens on it, it said he may be the first or second person ever to win the Cy Young Award and the Rookie of the Year Award. Let's give it up for Paul Skeens. Do you have the... (laughs) How? Headphones is way too loud. Oh, sure, because they're right by your... Okay. Yeah, I'm sure you can hear that a little bit. Well, good. That's the first thing I had listed on my show prep that I got to talk about. That sucks. <laughs> Do you want to hear my pickup line about algebra? Absolutely. Nope, so, you're gonna have you're gonna have to start over. Jesus I don't know. Christ. I don't know what you're doing if you're moving Dude, around you, a lot or what, Sody. But you gotta not miss the show again. Yeah. Yep. Still can't hear you. How about now? Okay. What are you doing different? So I have a, Figure it out. I have a pickup. <clears throat> about algebra okay that works you just ask like georgie if i was trying to pick you up i'd say are you good at algebra i'd say no well that's too bad because i'm trying to replace my ex without you asking why (laughs) that's what she said too she just kind of laughed silently that's a really Um, that's a good one i like that one did you guys i didn't tell you i'm going back to school did i you didn't i don't believe you (laughs) I'm going to MIT, actually. Which is? Michigan Institu- Institutional Technical. Nope. But I'm only taking four <laughs> physical education courses. Archery, pistols, sailing, and fencing. Do you know why? Why? Because if you take those four educational courses, or physical educational courses, you get a certi- certificate in piracy. Where did you find this out? Who gives you the certificate? Google. Google this, Jerry. Google. You ready? <laughs> God damn it. Okay. Game and a pirate. Your doppelganger and who could mask his acting talent closely him is you. <laughs> Damon. What does it say? Damon. What does it say? Damon, however, is an honorary pirate. Um, this is MIT Alumni Association, it says Carrie Sampson Moore, Director of Physical Education. Only MIT students and alumni can earn the genuine article. Part of the challenge is registering for the required courses. Pistol, rifle, archery, sailing, and fencing. <laughs> Google, 
to be a pirate, baby. And Dude, I can't if you, wait. If you so think MIT you, is going to accept you yeah. into their program, brother, yeah. we need to have an honest conversation. They, pro- they probably only accepted Matt after he said, how do you like them apples? Spring came into education. Those are two different schools. Xander Shalfley wins the Open at Royal Troon for his second major win of the year. And the majors are done for the year in golf. I think Pops, I think Pops did pretty well on a freaking bet on that, actually, because I was up there fishing, and every time I went back to water, he was like, let's go, Xander. Dad's a, Dad's a Xander guy? Dad's a gambler. I don't, I don't know if it was this tournament or the previous one, but our stallmate, Dobby, um, he bet X amount of dollars. I won't say the amount. Oh, shit. He, <laughs> North or south of 500. I'm not going to do this. Oh, no, okay. But don't he, do that. Don't do that. All right. But uh, he, he bet X amount of dollars and joined a pool play, right, for this golf tournament. He forgot to set his golf lineup. Idiot. So he just... He yeah, just was out the Dobby. money. He woke up and he was like, oh, shit. Dobby. And it was too late. Oh, no. As a guy that donates money to a fantasy football <laughs> league every, every week. Oof. That's crazy. Oh, that's too bad. That is too dang bad. Yeah, that's a big toilet flush on his part. Oh, yeah. By the way, am I yelling? I feel like I'm yelling with these AirPods. Nope, well, that sounds great right there. Really? Yeah. yeah. Keep talking to me. Oh, actually, Doc, I have a story for you that you would love. Okay. Escape room? Yes. Cody? What? You, it's like you walked away. No, I'm here. I promise. You can see me. God, it's such a struggle. Yep. I'm sorry to all of our Wait, listeners. Wait, you can't see me. Hang on. Sorry. Cody, will, will you just... Can you, can you apologize to everyone super quick? Because we can't hear your lovely I'm voice so as well as we should. Everyone. Um, if this is your first time listening, this is not the normal production quality. He doesn't look as good as Dog, but he's he sounds better. Well, can you guys like not hear me at all? Sometimes it's like a roller coaster, man. It feels like you walk away. That's kind of our relationship. <laughs> yeah, you're telling me. Anyway, can you hear me right now? You sound, you sound great. About my, you sound great. Okay, so Doc, I recently went to an escape room. It was uh, a little sketchier than I think most people experience. Um, I wrote it down because it was quite a moment. <laughs> but he locked he locked, locked me in an empty room, handed me an N64 controller, shut off all the lights, and told me the answer to the riddle I needed to solve was on the floor. After an hour in the dark, I'm like, I can't find it. I'm holding this N64 controller. And he, he was like, you don't understand yet. What we are doing is for something much bigger than us. And so I asked him, I'm like, show me what it's for. Make me understand it. I've been crawling in the dark looking for the answer. Is there something more than what I've been handed? So yeah, I don't know this one as well as chili peppers. <laughs> I've been crawling in the dark looking for, the, for answer. the answer. That's all I needed. We're good. What better time to indulge than summer? And where better to indulge than with some island luxury? Bermuda is a perfect escape for the everyday hustle and bustle. With its stunning pink sand beaches and clear turquoise waters, this is a picture-perfect paradise that will take your breath away. Discover Bermuda by reaching out to K at Sulit Experience, S-U-L-I-T Experience dot com. Hey everyone, Sodi with the Second Office here. I'm sure I don't have to remind you, we're entering a new age of cannabis in this wonderful state of Minnesota, and our friends over at Flipside Dispensary and Music want to be your guide to finding that perfect high. You can shop their curated selection of THC and CBD edibles and drinks, peruse their $1,505 records, chill in their custom-built listening lounges, and enjoy a cannabis atmosphere that is second to none. Located directly across from Bogart's Donuts in Minneapolis, Flipside is ready to help you spark a moment of joy and vibe to the music while you do it. Find them at FlipsideMN.com or at FlipsideMN on socials. Mention this ad and get 10% off your entire order. See you on the flip side. <laughs> okay, fuck. <sighs> oh. You guys just really don't want us to make money. Yeah, Doc, how's Hoobastank, your... Uh... By the way, Hoobastank, underrated. Hoobastank joke. Hoobastank. Uh, <laughs> that is Hoobastank what? in the dark. <laughs> I don't think is that them. Are you sure? It 100 percent is Hoobastank for sure. 
Doc, how, how's CFB, man? How's, how's, re, how's, re, how's recruiting? Oh, it's great. So two seasons as an offense coordinator for the University of Florida. Got no, my, uh, you get offers my, yet? You my, get, you I did. I turned them down at the first year. They were trash schools. Lesser opportunities? Yeah, I wasn't going to do them? that. Who needs them? Uh, third year, though, uh, head coaching job for Nebraska. Took over that program. Ooh, okay. Um, took them nine and three the first season with yes. with no players I recruited. You're, you're a Cornhusker. That's right. Nice. Big red, baby. Let's go. Um, yes, man. With Jim Carrey and uh, you know, that made you want to coach the Huskers? No, they were just the best big school that offered me a head coaching job. Yeah, takes the best opportunity. You must be a shit coach. What's going on? Huskers? <sighs> The Huskers are great. They got a great legacy. I don't know. Do they? Yeah. They're big. When's the last time they won anything? I don't know. Well, that's because they make terrible decisions in I real know life. They're great at corn. Yeah, they're great at corn. That's very true. Um, speaking of college football 25, I don't have the game, but I heard about a guy named James Moore. He's an East Carolina quarterback. Do you guys know anything about this guy? Jane apparently does. No. George, you do me a favor. Google James Moore, CFB gun. 25. Whoever gun. made the game is very mad at this guy. Oh, my God. Have you seen some of the created names? Yeah, there's some They're great crazy. ones. There are some great ones. Um, I don't... Hei- I'm, not, Heisman, I'm not seeing anything, um, Sody. Transfer Portal the Fifth is the number one name I like. First name, La Heisman. Last name, Transfer, transfer Portal the Fifth. <laughs> <laughs> there's, have there's, you guys seen his clips oh yeah that guy cr- just created that low but like the ea developers themselves they've put in this name generator so some of the names are great when you're like recruiting people and stuff did you see jeff epstein is in the game yeah and there's major major virgin oh my there's God. major virgin <laughs> yeah major virgin <laughs> oh man I there's there's jose in, there's anyway. jose Burrow instead of Joe. Jose Burrow. <laughs> yeah. Did you see Joe Burrow's hair? Oh my God, Slim Shady. Slim Shady. That's right. What know, like the, the death that? of Slim Shady was it. greatly exaggerated. Have you seen what Sleeper did? George, they George, changed, they like changed a... Joe Burrow's photo. They already George, changed you're it. You're gonna feel like a dick Sleeper's in a on it. Find out why he has his hair like that. He's an Eminem fan. No, he's not. What? Google why his hair is short and dyed. I'm not gonna Google it. Tell me. Because he does more work with cancer patients in the city of or Cincinnati, than anybody. And he has a few people that have come out of cancer and their hair is growing back now. Yeah. And so he's he's sporting whatever hairdo they have. That's great. So is this why he did that in college too, or are you just – is that just a thing? Do you know that for a fact, or – I'm going to take that at silence. Get me wrong. Oh, my, oh, Sleeper really has Eminem as his picture. That's amazing. It, oh, that's great. They're so quick to this shit. That's amazing. Ooh. As I said, the death of Slim Shady was greatly exaggerated. I don't care what the charts say. You might you might not get this because it's it's wrestling related, but adrenaline in my soul, something something, Joe Burrow. I don't, yeah, I don't yeah. get that. It's above my head. Yeah, sorry. That's fine. Sorry. Oh, we got a friend. We got a friend over there. Um, yeah, Jeff Epstein's in the game. It's great. I so I, I finally started a dynasty after I got a couple of my Road to Glories rolling that are going hot. Nice. Anyways, started a dynasty, UCLA Bruins. Um, uh, big goof, what? week one. Big goof, week one. Okay, so hang on. You're a bigger Aaron Rodgers fan than you're willing to admit, aren't you? Sody, I told to, you last week, he did not go there. He went to Cal. Cal Berkeley. Shut up. Okay, so you, you're you a bigger Anthony Barr fan than you want to admit, aren't you? Love Anthony Barr. Love AB, baby. The guy that broke Aaron Rodgers' collarbone. He was a Bruin. Yeah, I know he was. So was EK. Okay, actually... For all you women out there that wonder what guys do when they get together and hang out and drink beer, basically, we just name some obscure NFL player and hope that some dude in the room names what college he went to. I think, I think, is that just you? Johnny Manziel. Uh, a- A&M. Hey, did you, did you see the funny recruiting thing about Johnny Manziel? No. Um, so he actually went out to Oregon. When Chip Kelly was out there on a recruiting visit, yep. and Marcus Mariotti, Mariota was out there, yeah, Mariotti. <laughs> what? That, he, what? Yeah, what? So Marcus Mariotti, Mariota, <laughs> goddamn. Nope, nope, nope. Ooh, I've nope. been drinking all day, boys. Yeah. <laughs> he was out name there. The I don't. <laughs> name the character from Super Super Brothers, and then just add a tuh. 
<laughs> Anyways. Anyways. I don't know if he was already out there or if he was also on a recruiting visit, but Johnny Manziel showed up on campus and they went out to do the football portion. And uh, he saw this 6'4 Hawaiian guy. So he walks up to him. He's like, you out here playing receiver? And he's like, no, I'm the quarterback, bro. And Johnny's like, yeah, I'm not coming here. <laughs> I have no chance. <laughs> That's hilarious. Who won the Heisman? Yeah, so didn't they both win the Heisman? Oh, shared. Mariota did. I don't know if Manziel did. Honestly, I can't. I can't remember. I'm pretty sure Johnny Football won. I feel like if he had his stuff straight, he could have at least been Mariota level in the NFL. He didn't. He didn't want to have his stuff straight, dude. No, he sure did. Oil money. He sure did. Oil money. Um. Like, so so oil. so I'm gonna I'm gonna continue with my uh my dynasty. Um, grave mistake week one because I didn't know any better. I, I'm taking my time picking my prospects. Ooh, I'm getting into them. I'm falling in love with some week one right off the bat. Gotta have these guys. Is this guys. a good time for me to go grab my sandwich? Gotta have these guys on my team. Sody, if you interrupt one more goddamn time, you're gonna get turned off, brother. I'm just gonna turn your ass off and let Dog take it from here. Thank you. Okay. Where was I? Son of a gun. Falling in love with these players. Your um, video game football franchise. Falling in love with these players. That doesn't mean anything. That's what we were talking about. Okay, coming from the guy who sends me three hours of Madden highlights from one game. Our fishing videos. One night a month. One okay. Night a month. All right. Those are just the ones that make it to me, too. Anyways. <laughs> Anyways. <laughs> you done did it now. Got it. Falling in love with these guys. Got to have them on my team. Um, I start out with, with a hot. 875 uh, points to use. That's great, right? That, that'll that last me all season. Nope. I used like 200 and then went to next week. And oh, You didn't realize that you got them every week? Nope. Left like 600 points on the table. Mm. So, uh, yeah. so, I'm, so I'm countering by going all in on a few. Yeah. Yep. I just got to get these few now. Um, and there's some great wide receivers that I need on this team. That can USC is is they're they're neck and neck. If they go to USC, I'm gonna be pissed. Man, Life great game. Lesson. Great game, right? It's great. Oh, I'm loving it. It's been a while. It's been a while. Um, just uh, just don't you just don't want Jeff Epstein on your team. That's no, all. I mean the recruiting thing is you got to fly him out to an island, not your school. Oh, got him. That's not good. <laughs> got him <laughs> got him hey spe- um going back to the olympics yeah, not good. <laughs> Woo. speaking of the olympics um men can finally compete in artistic swimming hell yeah you guys see that um wait were we barred from artistic swimming i'm actually, um, I'm actually flying out there boys they can finally compete um n- none of them made the cut i did wait doc are you going nope. to no 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 men made the cut in artistic I, I, swimming me no men if you don't made think the cut. i can't get out there in a tight little speedo. Am I assuming your gender? <laughs> I'm sorry. And, and do some pirouettes in the pool. <laughs> That's got to be something, right? That's probably your good job. Right. Um, yep, none, none of them. Spell pirouette right now. <laughs> none of them made the cut. <laughs> so that's too bad. Oh, well, thoughts and But hey, they could. Wait. But next year or George, next four looking. years. What? I don't want to interrupt, but I don't know when it's my time to talk. You can go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> so. I think the Olympics are boring. Why? Because it, it's just a bunch of super athletes. It's stupid. It's done. I so I have I have a new Olympics. I'm gonna pitch. You guys ready? I go ahead. Okay. Uh, old Olympics suck. New Olympics. Instead of world class athletes who train for four years to be a part of this, yeah. competed at any sport under. Hey, Sody, start over. Or under. Start over. The Olympics I'm promoting okay. are people that com- competed in a sport at a high school level or lower. You're on a list, like a military draft. It's a non-fatal Hunger Games, essentially. <laughs> but what what's going to happen is you're going to get a letter in the mail, like you, me, and Doc, and it's like, Sody's in the 100-meter dash, Doc's in javelin, <laughs> you're in shot put. you got a month to train. Get after it, player. Every single athlete from every country is going to be a Cinderella story. They're marketable. Way more people are going to watch average Joes compete for their country. I, 
I just I think we're missing out on a lot of Olympic money. So I think I, but, I, I, this is where I, I'm I, at with I, you. I just think that's a different type of games. I like that idea. I think this I, is different. This is what I think should happen. I think you need to. What would you call that? Though? You like should like merge the no, them. The no Olympics. No, you need to merge what you just said in the real Olympics, so you can see how superior these people are. In every event, you have an you have yeah, an that. average Joe. Yeah, there it is. That's the idea. Yeah, drop and my you, pen, and you could just be like, God, jeez, Louise, he's fast. Yeah, because you know they're yeah. fast. That's a great idea. What, what event does the average Joe have a chance to win? Can you imagine a guy trying to do the rings or, the, or, shot the, or, or the pummel horse? Yo, he, man, <laughs> you, or like a floor Dude, routine. I'll, I'll tell you right That'd now, it'd be there awesome. Are some labor workers that can probably deadlift more than anybody that's going to the olympics to lift shit that's what i'm saying like shot put or any of that but do the they have the form Joe would maybe have the but do chance. they have the form dude, grab a grab a dude from wyoming put him in javelin no th- so this is Kill this a is with a- that's actually what i wonder about the olympics all the damn time is okay i'm spending four years of my life training to be the best at curling i feel like most people in the world could do that if they dedicated four years of their life to it right you know what i mean most, most people have a wife telling them that they want to redo their floors and their countertops this winter though so they don't have time to curl Our money. yeah yep that's a good thing we need women to do stuff like that you could have just stopped talking yep you, you you got anything else to add to that i i hope you cut that out <laughs> all right yeah That'll be on bloopers. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Totally. Wait, we have bloopers. Totally yeah. won't be in the episode. We'll make sure. Is it everything I say? No. Always. Always. Uh, Japan's gymnastic captain out for smoking and drinking. Hell yeah. That sucks. Uh, but why? Why are they out? She's, John she's Daly smoked, could never she, be an Olympic uh, athlete. I'm just realizing. Yeah. Apparently not. Well, uh, is that is that Olympic rules or Japan rules? I don't know. Very, very good question. Shoko Miyata, the 19-year-old captain of the Japan women's artistic gymnastics team, has withdrawn from the squad from the Paris Games after violating the team's code of conduct mm. by smoking, the Japanese Gymnastics Association said on Friday. That is just baloney. That is just baloney. They knew they weren't going to win anyway, so the they were like, girl. we're going to withhold our culture values. Quote, we apologize from the bottom of our hearts for this. Doc, did you just make an Olympic reference to the presidential race? I missed it. No. Never. I totally missed Any it. parallels there are you strictly are so coincidental. I and it. handsome at the same time. Oh, you stop. At the same time, Miata had been expected to lead a team comprised entirely of first-time Olympians and teenagers after she secured her Paris birth in May with a third consecutive NHK trophy. Um, quote, she was spending her days really burdened with so much pressure, um, the coach said, wiping she, away tears. Quote, <laughs> I would implore people to understand that. She just want to smoke a little weed. Well, see, I don't think people are... Okay, maybe... Um, the maybe the Japanese are upset with her, but I think everyone else seeing this story in the world right now whoa, is is whoa. is you not is not like is that. not <laughs> is not focused the on Japanese. Sodi, turning your ass down. Be a dude. fucking Pearl Harbor Turning your again. ass down. I would say the entire rest of the world hearing that story is not upset that she smoked or drink. They're upset that she's not going to be in the Olympics and upset for her. So not sure, they don't feel like that about Russia though. That's sad. No, of course not. What's going on with Russia? But uh, you know what I think the Olympics should do? I think they need to um, buy a plot of land in Greece, buy Olympia, build all the bullshit stadiums they need for the Olympic Games there, Yep. and just have it there every year. Why are we wasting so much money so so so-and-so can host the Olympics? Yay, woo. It's a cool thing. It's a big big economic... It's a big chance for the economy of the city. the Olympics, aren't you? Oh, I am. And then our lovely Utah, Salt Lake City, Utah, just got awarded the 2034 Winter Games. So can't wait for us to spend some taxpayer dollars on that. Yay. Hey, don't... Mormania is doing... We had Salt Lake City handful, like when I was a kid. They've already had it. They're coming back. And guess what? All that stuff they built needs to be rebuilt. They've already had it. Why do they get it again? No, it's it's trash. Isn't it... uh, Didn't LA... Didn't LA get an Olympics? That could be cool. No. No. not Would gonna you be cool. put an Olympics in L.A.? Yeah. I think that'd be sweet. I bet the reasons are more. All right. <laughs> Stripper. Anyways. <laughs> Anyways. And the silence you hear is Lambeau Field. I, uh, 
So I, I I told that that new fantasy football league that I you know I'd love to post the chat thread, but cancel culture would come for us if we did that. Mm. And uh, mm. it did, didn't it? And uh, he goes, yeah, lots of butt stuff and drugs and strippers. And so someone just updated their name, fantasy football name, to that <laughs> stripper, strippers, drugs, drugs and butt stuff. <laughs> Brilliant. <laughs> great name. It was a great name. Fantastic. Dang it. I was just, man, that was All what right. I was going after. All right. Well, speaking of fantasy football, let's uh, do uh, real life football. He's getting closer and closer. Um, the Vikings, um, we, signed, we signed our rookies. We signed our first rounders. JJ and Dallas Turner have signed. They're on the team. Let's go. Um, Wait, Dallas Turner signed? He totally signed. What are the details of his contract? I'm, I'm actually very curious about that one. Why? I got him right here, but why are you curious? Because he's the only answer we have to missing Janiel. A four-year team for a very, very, very long time. Four-year, fully guaranteed contract worth fifteen point seven six mil. Let's go. Love that. Yep. No, Turner, dude. Yeah, he's gonna be great. That's gonna. That will be the jersey I'm wearing this season. Can't wait. That's my guy. Oh, do you want the Packers news, Doc? Because they actually did something good. They re they signed Kenny Clark again. That's right. Is that that's a good thing, right? Twenty one million dollars a year. Isn't he pretty great? Yeah, what he's about pretty the good. quarterback? Did they ever sign that guy? No, we'll take care Jordan of Jordan Love. Don't worry about it. We'll be taken care of. He's still with the team. He's just not practicing. It's fine. Jeez. It's okay for you guys to be jealous. Kenny Clark's super good though, right? Yeah. That's what I thought. My dad loves him. Yeah, he's a big guy right there. He holds up the middle. Okay. Anchors the D. Aaron Jones is gonna get his little fucking head slap. As it were. Nah, he... He, him, and Aaron are such good buds. When they play together, he's gonna, he's just gonna, just like uh, what do they call it? The uh, what are you doing with the bull? Well, I'm right by. Oh, hey, Aaron, okay. I miss you. Oh yeah. Why don't you rip off ten quick? Absolutely not. He's gonna rip his arm off. Nah, I hope not. Aaron is fragile. You don't need someone to try to rip Aaron's yeah, arm off. I know that much. Could do it himself. I know so, that yeah, much. We know that he took a yep. step backward and snapped he's his whole freaking leg. Pretty much gonna be like my daughter. Like she wakes up and she goes band aid. Like she all she already wants a band aid. The minute she wakes up, I got owies. That's how Aaron Jones wakes up. Owie. Okay, so Shit. band aid. Kiss band-aid? It. How old's your kid? <laughs> JJ, between will you come kiss two, it? <laughs> just so you know, between two and three, band aid is a fad. Like a. Is that what's cool for the for the three year olds? They wear band aids. For band aids so. like Nelly. Like if, if they go hard enough to bleed, they're like, oh, band aid. Band aid. <laughs> um, don't uh, don't think that's correct. Um, Vikings are they're covering a portion of Kyrie Jackson's funeral, which is very cool. They could have just paid the whole thing. Come on. Yeah, I know it, exactly. Well, hey, unless it's huge, it could be a huge funeral. I don't know, but I thought the same thing. Vikings will cover, quote, significant portion of the expenses for Kyrie Jackson's funeral per the team. It's scheduled for Friday. Um, what is that contribution? It just, quote, significant. Um, I think they're also honoring his uh, his signing bonus or, or part so of his contract or something. So if someone gave you $500, would you consider that a significant monetary contribution? For a funeral, no. All right. So it's over five hundred. That's good. Well, like I said, I, I it's and it sounds like they're honoring a portion or like his signing bonus or something with his rookie contract. They are honoring. Maybe his guaranteed money. I hope they are keeping his locker. They are doing right by the guy they drafted. Um, sad story. And then and then someone shot up the um ceremony or something. Bad deal all around. Well, I'm but, surprised. I'm not surprised. Well, I'm not saying. Well, I was going to say I'm but, surprised you brought that up. Why? Well, because it's a it's a super shitty situation. Yeah, we no, lose, it, it no, it yeah, it's it's shit all around. We so, lose so a I young guess I'm man in yeah. a future football star. Yeah. Not only that, but violence at his funeral with guns. Yeah. And then our own Jordan Addison, after we lost <laughs> Kyrie to a drunk driver, yeah, is arrested for DUI. Suspected DUI, but yes. But, I mean. Whether it be weed or anything, well, it's still DUI. Driving. No, exactly. I know. It's... Yeah, yeah, I know. Yeah, bad, bad looks all around. Stupid stuff. It's um, just glad the organization is doing right by the guy they drafted. That's awesome. Um, but yeah, still, um, it's a shame that any of this is is happening in the first place. Um, in funnier so, NFL news, okay. My, well, hang on. Yep. Hang on. Hang on. Sorry. Yep. What about the rumors about us trading Addison to San Francisco for Brandon Ayuk? Have not seen those rumors, and I don't want those rumors. Me neither. I was going to ask your opinion on that, because I, I have seen them. 
where it's us and a, or it's Jordan and a couple draft picks, and we're going to get Brandon, and we're going to hope San Francisco can straighten no. out whatever he's got going on. You guys no. are stupid for not wanting that. Okay, I, I was we... going to say, I want him here. I want him to get, if he needs help, get him help. No, I. you guys should want IU. You guys so, should want IU. Well, he's going to make at least, what, like t- between 25 and 30. Have a rookie he? quarterback. Now's the time. You can He's pay receivers. He's going to be an Anquan Bolden for the rest of his life, and he can go do that in Baltimore. Do you okay. not see what this guy does? Ayuk? Yeah. Yeah, he's very good. He's injury prone. Mm-hmm. He's super good, dude. I, no. I, I get it. No. Do you not appreciate the promise that Addison showed as a rookie? Because he looked pretty damn good, too. <clears throat> he's smaller, but he's awesome. Doc, who did better fantasy wise last season, Jordan Addison or Brandon Ayuk? Uh, give me one second. Um, it's probably Ayuk. I don't know the answer to that. You might you might make me look like an idiot. No, I think it was Ayuk, but I do. I don't know if it was substantial. It's gonna, it's gonna take one second. Yep, you got it right here. Stats twenty twenty three. Stats. I'm not here looking for stats. What are what are your guys' guesses on that? Um, I think Ayuk had him by a little bit. I feel like Ayuk was probably wide receiver like twenty five ish, and Addison was forty ish or thirty ish, thirty something. Where he came up short of yards and okay, Jordan know. Addison in a PPR fantasy football league was wide receiver number twenty three. Twenty three. Seventy catches, nine hundred yards, ten touchdowns. He had ten goddamn touchdowns. Brandon Ayuk, wide receiver number fourteen. Ooh, okay. 75 catches, 1,300 yards, seven touchdowns. Five more catches, three less touchdowns, a couple more hundred yards. Similar yeah, but seasons. Where are you getting your info? Where are you getting your sources? Ayuk also, uh, Ayuk also runs it. So he has that camera. But here's the thing. like, Who cares if you have to pay Ayuk? You're, you're on a rookie quarterback salary. Ayuk does not get in trouble. He's not stupid. And when does he miss games? He only missed games his rookie year. He hasn't missed a game since then. Is that true? Yes, I'm looking at it right now. Am I thinking of Debo? Yes. He's injury prone, right? I would take IU all oh, yeah. day. I had him on my team last year. I played him twice. I haven't seen that rumor, though. I feel like that's not a thing. That's definitely. I, he wants out. He, requ- he No, I know he requested, requested a trade. trade. I, I think they might want to do that if they're if if having him on the team is a is not an option. I feel like they would want that. I, a great first round wide receiver off his great rookie year. I think they would want that too. Yeah, get God, I'd be selling Addison all day. Why? Dude, he Did he's, he's bonehead? Just, yeah. Yeah. Th- this is he this is nothing help. that people haven't bounced he back needs from. Help. Yeah. Someone's just gotta okay, monitor but you his guys money. do not want help. He's he's dumb as hell right now. He hasn't he hasn't hit any ladies. He hasn't beat up any dogs. The, those are that's where I draw the line. He okay. hasn't fucked with any no, kids. He's only driving his car a hundred plus miles per hour I under the it. influence. Going to wrap it, it around. Dumb and as die. hell. He's dumb as hell. He's or stupid. Kill someone else. Dog. Yes, he yeah, is he stupid. His dog that had a medical emergency. He, oh, it, he is stupid. I am not denying that. I don't think this is. I don't think it's been enough to trade or to want to trade him. If you're gonna, if you can get similar value back, absolutely. Big difference between stupid and young, man. I promise okay. you. That's, I'm not I saying trade the, him to get rid of him, but if you can get IU all day. Okay, I guess the only reason we wouldn't do that is because of the money. We we just don't want to be paying two sure. wide receivers. But so you have a rookie quarterback. Sure. And I don't spend I don't the money don't for the next three years. A, give him the give him the Addison tools IU to win. Straight up, either. There's multiple draft picks on our side. I hmm. feel like involved in that. Hmm. I don't think you. I think you no, can spin be, it no, to Forty Nine ers way. No, if he's on a rookie contract, I'm gonna have to pay him. I'm not giving you draft picks. Yeah, exactly. It would be close. It would be close to a straight up. I feel like, Doc, you should run like a football team, I, not a real one, but like an imaginary one where you can take guys from other teams and. No, I shouldn't do that. I feel like you'd be good at that. Yeah, but if if you don't have who's the guy from the Lions, Dan Campbell. Dan Campbell. Stop. He was a tight end. Don't fuck with me. Um, Luperta. Sam Laporta. I'm on Ross St. Brown. If you don't have him, I feel like you're not doing everything you can as a as a commissioner, as an owner in that league. I don't want him. Yeah, he doesn't want him anymore. Does, that's who I'd put my money on. Yeah, he, he doesn't want him anymore. He's a good-looking guy with a good-looking team. 
the number one wide receiver on a top five offense. Do you're, Lions you're thinking too hard. You're year. thinking too hard about George, it. I'm not going to give them to you. I, I know you don't want them. Lions win the division this year. Yeah. I want to gamble. Let's bet the house. Who wins NFC North this year? No fandom. Who are you putting your money on? Lions. Packers. For me, it, it's the freaking Lions. And I Packers hate it. all day, baby. Really? Yes. Who's throwing the ball for you guys? <laughs> I'm not even at the level of Jordan Love hater as Sodi is anymore. <laughs> I was, but he's pretty good. I think he'll do all right. All right. I'm scared. So the problem is he gets better this year. Since meeting, he was the fourth started, best quarterback last once year. A week. By what metrics? I'm more of a Packers By fan stats? than I ever thought I would. And so, to be honest, I'm I'm hurt that Jordan's not sitting down and making a contract right now. It's like, dude, come on. You're not Aaron Rodgers. You're not Brett Favre. But the fact that he's got a G on the side of his helmet and he starts every Sunday, he yep. thinks he's God. Yeah. Which I get it. Everybody that's played your position in your uniform before you has been elite with a capital frickin' E on both I ends just, of that It word. just kills me. You guys don't think he's there. It just kills me. It was the first half no, of the he's season. There. I saw him. It was, was the first half of the season. in a hoodie watching his backup do really, really well. It was the first half of the season. He looked so bad. As bad as he looked, he looked that good the second half of the season. 100 percent. Yeah. You gotta. It's gonna be the same when JJ gets out there. He's gonna look trash his first few games. He's finally seeing real football. He just didn't have the rookie label. Oh, and then you're gonna rub it in my face about Jordan Love about how I'm gonna have the opposite opinion when he's bad, and I'm gonna say no, he's not that bad. Wait, 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 wait. Is that he's what's happening? Yeah. Admitting that Jordan or Gene had an incredible second half of the season. Yes. Yeah, are you saying? I'm, I'm saying if he does, you guys gotta fucking rewind this and be like, oh, he's not that good. He's not that good. <laughs> yeah, Where's we Sam Darnold? Yeah, we totally will. All right, funny NFL. Um, Terrell Owens was disrespected by Tom Brady. Oh, shit. <gasps> he's gonna get killed. You guys see this? So, did you see it? Brady's got a hit out for him now. Um, Terrell Owens tried to come out of retirement, play for the Buccaneers, but was disrespected by Tom Brady. Oh, God. Uh, Terrell Owens was 48 at this time. When he tried to come back <laughs> in the NFL, I just thought that was funny. Well, yeah, him stating his age. Yeah, so he, he took it as disrespect from Tom Brady, but he was also forty-eight. Now I did see video of him training when he was forty-eight. He looked pretty dang good. He's still running like a four five forty or something crazy. Well, I mean, who's the guy in the Old Spice commercials that was in White Chicks and played for? That is the Terry Crews. Yeah, he looks pretty good, right? Yeah, he's great. Yeah. I, I'm sure Julian Edelman still gets whistled at on the beach, but that's what I'm saying. Pro Bowler? Probably not. Probably not even in the league. Well, he's not, but I'm sure he probably <laughs> couldn't be. Picture Adrian Peterson naked right now. Do you want to know what's crazy? Easily. If, Ter if, if Terrell <laughs> Owens, you know, he got disrespected by Tom Brady, but if Edelman yeah. was like, hey, Tom. Yeah, I want to come play for the Bucks. <laughs> He's like, come well, on. Been, it was, absolutely. <laughs> You're not quite 48. <laughs> You're getting there. That'd be mm. good. I'm not going to be a part of this. Hey, did you guys see Kyle Shanahan offered Bill Belichick a job on yeah, his coaching staff? Yeah, it said anything you want. And Bill's like, no, I'm banging 24-year-olds. Yep. I'm, cl yeah, I'm, I'm clapping cheeks. Right. That's right. Right. Kyle, right. what do you want me to do here? Kyle. Yeah, Kyle. Kyle. You expect me to join the Niners, Kyle, when I got this? I got, yeah, I'm, out, I'm out here in Martha's Vineyard with, okay, this, Kyle. Hot, with this little hottie. What are you? Sure, I'll, I'll be on the Niners. <laughs> For real. Minnesota news. I got Minnesota news. Uh, mosquito, mosquito population, highest in three years. Yeah, I can feel it. Yeah, absolutely. As soon as you get up to the – yeah, it's, it, they're everywhere. Um, Minnesota will not – Host the Sundance Film Festival. So that's too bad. Uh, what, the 180th year in a row? What fucking news is that? Huh. What do you mean the 180th year in a row? Well, so did they were going for it. When, when did we ever host Sundance? They oh, were going yeah, for no, it. No, yeah, good point. Yeah, and, But we wanted it. I think everybody wants it. We, we wanted it. When the, who thought we had a chance? I don't know. <laughs> um, yeah, good question. Uh, Chick-fil-A. This is not Min That's all from Minnesota news. No more Minnesota news. Uh, Chick-fil-A. You're about to get on to something I actually had written down. 
Chick-fil-A, no longer America's best fast food restaurant. What is? Del Taco. Oh, I, thought save, I thought you'd save this for Rushmore. Del motherfucking Taco. Never heard of it. You've never heard of Del Taco? No. I feel like I've only had it once in my life. He just broke his fucking air. Wait, so Del Taco, that's what we got the the taco cases from. Right? Literally talked about this. Place. Yep, we did. Okay, I was yep, nope, Del Taco. Del Taco's great. The chicken tacos were better out of the fridge four days after you ordered them than they were and they were fifty cents. Yeah. No they wonder were. they're dominating. They're yeah. doing chicken cheaper and better. Yeah, Del Taco over Taco Bell. Honestly, right, Sody? I mean, dude, I'm I'm this close to taking Taco John's over Taco Bell. Nah, I don't, not familiar enough Taco John's to say so. Um, but anyways, I don't know how this scared, was. You're scared to try it, aren't you? Well, so there's none no. in Minnesota. Del Tacos, no, absolutely. There's none, none in Iowa. Nope. There's none in North Del Dakota. With strong Our sales South and excellent Dakota. customer satisfaction ratings, there's no doubt that Chick-fil-A continues to reign as one of America's Our most Missouri. beloved dining brands in Our 2024. Illinois. Yeah, it's like West Coast, right? It's like the Our, in and out of taco Our places. Wisconsin. What the fuck? I can't even get I can't get this. It's like the in and out of taco How places. How am I supposed to know? You got to travel, and it's worth it. Drive, player. Drive. Drive or go to Burbank. I Drive. You, you find a Bob Hope airport, you can go to Del Taco 10 minutes. Yep. 10 minutes away. Mm-hmm. Um, but, would not so have what, just so thought they would know, overtake Chick Fil A, but deal. because Chick Fil A is the last fast food chain that is Jesus oriented. Yeah, why is that the big Lord's deal? The Lord's Chicken was dominating hey, for so, a long time. Hey, Sody, yeah. did did you not tell him it was the Lord's Chicken? Jack Black, which by the way, I still support him and Kyle Gass and anything they do. I don't care if Kyle Gass. Votes differently than I do. Yeah, love them both. Yep. I, Just so you know, comedians say things that they think are funny, and if you take it too seriously, you're the problem. Can't, canceled. Can't can't did wait I for them. Did squeak to, like the kid from fucking Simpsons? You sure did. Canceled. No, no, seriously, I can't wait for Tenacious D to, like, it, it sounds like they're probably just wanting it Canceled. to blow over and I, I i've heard jack black has so many damn things in the works that he just didn't want to risk nothing which i which i get but i still think it's i still think it's stupid that smooths that over i still think it's stupid like it, we'll write an episode called the tenacious d but tenacious d like they're all about they're all about metal like to the like like slapstick metal even where they like they make a point of being metal and what and it's not the most metal thing that they're doing i think um i just can't wait for it to wait a minute I'd love over. for you to divulge a little bit more about that. What do you Is mean? Is being Republican not metal? What? How the hell did you get that? Canceled. I didn't. I didn't. Yep, I'm canceled. I'm out. Never mind. Jeez Louise. That's not what I was Tell me more. more about what you were you were saying. Oh, uh, it just it's just not a very tenacious D thing to do to cancel the tour off um off a little slip of the tongue. Is to take what I'm a side of a of a of an argument that they don't want anything to do with. Mm -hmm. And to stop the music and to stop the momentum of what they're doing as people mm -hmm. because something politically was said. This is the problem with politics. People take it way too seriously. That's what I'm saying. If you don't like a presidential candidate, don't go to the rally. Don't vote for him when it comes time to go in the booth. Don't tweet about it. Don't get on a roof. Don't do that shit. Yeah, no, very true. By the way, have you seen any of the uh, doc? Cell phone tracking. You know what I'm talking about? No. You gonna talk about an unabashed? Is that a little teaser? Well, this Anthony Thomas Crooks or whatever his name was. I'm not Something. concerned with him anymore. I'm concerned about the cell phone that continuously went from his house to an ammunition place and then the CIA office that was closest to his home back and forth like for weeks. Like he was just grooming this dude. But anyway, mm -hmm. yeah, we'll talk about that on unabashed. Yeah, we will. And that flew by. Sody, the music's playing. We're wrapping up. Are you serious? Ser so serious. <clears throat> how was your week, George? How was your week? Week was so good. Thank you. Um, wrapping, uh, wrapping it up uh, after four years at the hotel this week. It's a sad story. Sad story. I'm starting to feel it. Um, but also, okay. Hey, Timberwolves. Uh, wrapped up summer league. Dillingham closed with a banger, 25 points, showing his uh, instincts as a point guard, throwing lobs, looking good. Um, rumors of our rookie dating Angel Reese. 
potentially. This is all speculation, but rumors have started circulating online that TJ and Angel Reese may be quietly dating. She was at his draft night party. She showed up to a summer league game. Are you game. telling us their best hashtag is going to get even better? Let's, uh, let's, let's go. go. Let's hope so. Let's let's see uh, let's see Angel Reese have more uh, more Wolves games. Every oh. fishing game I I woo. from now on, hashtag I woo. Reese. It wasn't just her. It wasn't just her, though. Hey, guys. Thanks for listening. Um... Uh, the usual like subscribe youtube if you want to watch some video um just forget forget sony this one that's cool um secondoffice.org for sweet merch the uh the- patreon.com slash second office for awesome premium content that we're going to record right now on this beautiful sunday night sony say goodbye to everyone um love your neighbors as you love yourself and keep living like the, the dream Lord said live that damn dream <laughs>